This is James Com, the guy on the bike, welcoming you viewers all back for another half ass production. And today we're coming to you from Pace Wildenstein, 545 West 22nd Street. We're going to run in and take a look at new paintings by James Siena. Well, we've definitely got a mob scene here tonight. We've got a large selection of drawings as well. James Santa was a painter that started out showing at Pierogi in Brooklyn about seven or eight years ago. And it's quite an achievement for him to be showing here at Pace. Part of his show is drawings. He's known for a lot of his small-scale, finely drawn, obsessively patterned and repeated patterns of his compositions. But he's very popular with a lot of the younger painters. I was wondering, some of these, he uses the metal sheets and he paints on them in enamel. And I think that there's going to be so many pieces in this show, we'll only be able to focus in on a few. He's also has referenced the fact that a lot of this is dealing with kind of psychedelic imagery. Yeah, this is extremely simple for him. It makes me think of Matisse. Very nice. Oh, there's Alex Katz again. He gets around. Little drizzly rain and so many hot bodies in here. We've got a cloud of vapor forming over the heads of everyone here. Oh, this is a very surprising piece. This is five times larger than the largest piece I've seen by him before. Looks like India ink on paper. Oh, there's Fred Valentine. Quite a large contingency of the Williamsburg painting scene out here. James Esther, Jane Fine. Oh, we've got a whole gallery of these larger India ink works. actually find these pieces where he sort of breaks away from the grid a little more interesting. It seems to be a little tougher to keep the keep the lines going and the, the momentum up. This piece is with sepia ink. I also like his kind of swooping, sharp lines. I sometimes think it reminds me of uh, pinstriping on hot rods. Hey, there's Chuck Close. He's got the coolest wheelchair ever. Oh, there's Gary Steffen. We're talking with Gary Steffen now, a well-known New York painter. Tell us what you think of the show. What's interesting is James's work has always been almost about or of Acqui. They're very closed-in pictures. Right, and now he's open opened spaces. them up, and he's opened up the scale. Telling the joke I'm telling him. I'm telling him. And the only thing I can't figure out in this show is these heads. I looked at them and I actually thought to myself, did he do these when he was like in, in grad? 
old school. It is like his hippie period. So I don't know if this is like some amazing new event or things he did 25 years ago. So it's a show to think about. Nice to see you. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Well, I guess we better look at some of these face drawings then. Actually, I like this because it sort of breaks away from his standard abstraction. Sort of shows a more expressionistic and even a humorous side. It's less austere. <laughs> nice line work. This is nice. This piece couldn't be more than about three by six inches. And you can actually see where the wrinkles in the face are starting to get into this patterns of grids. Looks kind of uh, grotesque in a Renaissance kind of way. This is a very typical James Sienna piece, painted on metal. Make the video more simple, bold colors, line work. Actually, reveal a lot if you take the time to look at them slowly. Here's Arnold Glimcher. Hey, Debram, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Would you like to comment on the exhibition? You think what? He must, he might be sick in his intestines. I think his intestines are sick, huh? Yes. And that's the way you paint if you've got bad intestines? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's Thanks. Cool. Thanks, Deborah. Sure. Anytime. This almost makes me think of uh, Stephen Charles. Like Gary was saying, maybe this is a, some of the psychedelic phase. say that these paintings are probably about 16 by 20, 16 by 22. It's a little larger. It's very popular. this is apocryphal or not, but one of the stories, or at least one of the concepts that James had was that he would design these in such a way that he could make these drawings and do the entire piece without lifting the pencil off the paper. Well, obviously for these he'd have to stop and refill his brush, but it gives you the kind of idea of the obsessive nature of his pattern making. Lydia, you've got a show up now, right? That's right. Where's it at? Michael Steinberg. Michael Steinberg. That's right. Go see it. And it's up until when? Until the 26th of April. April. Are you a fan of James? It's a wonderful exhibition. Wonderful, wonderful exhibition. Here's the artist right here. Here's James talking to Lydia Dona. James Com reporting on James Siena at Pace Wildenstein, West 22nd Street. Thanks, Kate.